Castiel is officially back, baby! Supernatural, Season 8, Episode 7, A Little Slice of Kevin. And yes, like I said, Cass truly does come back in this one. But that's only one of the handful of reasons that this episode is the best one yet. Yeah, sorry if I'm blowing the suspense so soon here, but I'm just so jazzed by all of this that I have to come out and say it right here. But first things first, as the title indicates, Kevin's also back. Which obviously means that, like I said in the last Dots video, this episode is a real one of substance, and not one of the more fillery episodes like we've been getting lately. So we've got more tablet stuff, more profit stuff, more Crowley stuff, all of that business. And a bigger effects budget too, apparently. Crowley gets to do some demon power stuff, Castiel gets his angel on, it's all good. But about that Crowley stuff, well it does bum me out to see him being so just plain evil now, and play the big bad villain of the season. It does mean that we, you know, get an actually good villain this time around. What, in 6 we had even Raphael, who both sucked. In 7 we had Dick Roman, who, while fairly cool, still wasn't anything compared to the likes of Azazel, Lilith, Alistair, Zachariah, and Michael, or, pff, holy crap, Lucifer. But now we have Crowley in full form as the King of Hell, doing all sorts of hellish and kingly things like torturing angels, cutting off fingers, and popping people like balloons. He's a menacing dude now, and not just the dark, amusing uncle from England who cracks wise and works in some creepy business that nobody in the family ever wants to talk about. So while it is sad to see him not be one of the Winchester's old buddies anymore, it is still appreciated to have a good, ruthless, scary villain like him again. And then with Kevin, yeah, he's alright. Although it does kind of feel like he's always ending these episodes in the same place each time. Bad stuff happens to him, he escapes, then he vows to stop the demons, and it just doesn't feel like he ever gets anywhere as a character. He's just being kind of hardened Kevin Tran. And then his mom, yeah, she's bad. She's basically just a shtick Asian mom character, and it's not anything good. And the actress, Lauren Tom, is not very good at live action either. Plus, whenever I look away, I just hear Amy from Futurama. Or Min from King of the Hill. And that just ruins the flow of the episode for me. But I can easily put that all behind me for all that is good and supernatural. Cass and Dean. So time to talk about Cassiel's return from Purgatory under rather mysterious circumstances. He says he doesn't know how he got out after he was left behind. He was running and fighting, and then all of a sudden, he was back on Earth. Which, of course, we all know means more great Purgus stories. But yeah, Dean questions Cass's escape throughout the episode, and feels guilty about leaving Cass and Purgs. Which ends up giving us this really great, touching speech from Cass, in which he tells Dean that he's not responsible for everything, and that he can't save everyone. And then Cass shows Dean his memory of what happened in Purgatory. Because see, all this time we'd been seeing how Dean remembers it, and we were led to believe that Dean either failed to save Cass, or outright betrayed him. So Cass gives us the real story. The real... Purga story. And we see that Cass actually wanted to be left behind, that he felt like he had to serve penance for his actions in season 6 and 7, which ends in a really, really solid bit of emotional acting from Jensen Ackles. The guy looks like he's about to cry after seeing Castiel's memory, and it's beautiful. Shipper or not, you gotta respect the feels in that scene. But not to just finish off a great episode well, this one has to end it with a bang. And that bang comes in the form of a new mystery, the angel Naomi, who sort of snatches Cass up mid-conversation with the brothers to explain that her angels were the ones who saved Cass. And from now on, he will report to her the events of he and the brothers' adventures, but that after each meeting of theirs, he won't remember a thing. And then he's shot back to Earth, and no time has passed. So it's all very intriguing here. A new class of angels, maybe? A new hierarchy? A new boss? Maybe even more Archangels? How much has changed in Heaven since Cass has been away? And also, they mentioned Metatron and Chuck slash God in this episode. That can't just be a coincidence, can it? Jeremy Carver has something big planned, and I just cannot wait. So with that, this episode gets a 9 out of 10 from me. Yes, best ep of this season by far, 
And the most tantalizing of all, Supernatural has me back and fully interested once again. Although one bummer thing now is... No more Purgus stories. But I guess that means we now have ample opportunity for Sam flashbacks. Yay! But as for next week's episode, it features more casts! But, uh, um... It looks like both filler and shtick. So that doesn't necessarily bode too well. I was really hoping that after this, we'd get fully on the rails for main plot episodes, but it doesn't look like that. Or maybe it will still be good, you never know. Sometimes Supernatural tricks you into dismissing an episode, but then something big happens and now it's real business. And also more cast, so that's a good sign, right? But until then, I'll see you aspects later.